have such a busy schedule here. So, do you have something or you would do all this? Okay. I have the uh, last three months hospital information. Lisa left it for me to give you. Okay, speaking of the hospital, uh, an individual called me on the phone and, and uh, expressed some interest in being serving on the board. And I uh, thought we had to. That's good news. Yeah, that's good news. And, yeah. and Ron Culver's one called me up and said he'd like to serve on the board. That's going to be a good challenge for him. Yeah, it will be a challenge for <clears throat> So at this time, I'd like to make a motion, please. Appoint Ron to the hospital board. I'll second that. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. Ron, congratulations and welcome aboard. Thank you, gentlemen. Good luck. Would be interesting. It should be. It's important. It is important. Good for you. Good job. Yeah, I, I worked hard for you. <laughs> Well, you know, well, I take the credit where you can get it. Right. Okay, now I remember you, but I don't remember your name. Kendra. Hackett. Kendra. Brandon Clark. Brandon Clark. Okay, as you can see, we have three commissioners here, and they're identified as uh, Mr. Hager and and Roger, <laughs> and myself. So is there any particular questions you have, or do you just want an overview of kind of our responsibilities? An overview. An overview. Well, as you, can, as you just heard, we also have the responsibility of the county hospital. We, have, uh, we oversee the county health department. Our biggest... Uh, There's our biggest one right there. Our biggest <laughs> expenditure for the county is road and bridge. <laughs> What and Mr. Nusser is the supervisor of Road and Bridge. <laughs> Come on in, sit down. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to. <laughs> like, what word was at the tip of your tongue? Oh, there? Okay. Yeah. Camera. With, 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 with the camera. Okay. With I want to know. I, maybe we got to set the camera. Yeah. Well, also, no, we got to put EMS and, and the car. Or EMS and fire. Make the one. Roads and bridges. Our favorite. Share. Um, Property-wise, uh, we have the research farm down here, which I guess is still called a research farm. We're not just <laughs> weed departments at. We have the responsibility of the courthouse as well as the annex over here. We also own the property of the square. It's county-owned, but the city maintains it. Um, is that about all the properties? Well, There's the cemetery district. Your health department out here, city yeah, EMS. Yeah, right. EMS building, the, the, the county health department over here. So, and numerous fire trucks and gravel trucks and dump trucks and pickups. How many employees? Fifty some? Fifty five. Full-time county employees. I think our main job is to try to be good custodians of the taxpayers' money. That's what we're actually elected for us to try to we work with all these different uh, departments on, on, and uh, as they develop a budget each year and, and monitor their budgets and try to work with them, try to uh, have the county run as economic as we can. County. We have 200 250 miles of paved roads, or all weather roads. We have 250 miles of roads that we maintain, 40 yeah. of which are recycled asphalt, and the other 210 are asphalt. Yeah. What's our total budget this year? We work with the county does. Four point one million. 
Yeah. Are you surprised? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> We've also uh, I mean, assumed as a right word responsibility or, or uh, taking the initiative for to, for economic development. Now I've got a permanent economic <laughs> development person in place in an office for them. And, uh, so along with the hospital, which has become county, as Clayton said. And, we now have economic development and, and uh, you know, with the idea of stimulating and, and growing the county. Which fits in with what J.D. is saying as far as the, the being good stewards of the taxpayers' money. One of the best things that we can do is to increase our tax base. And that, in the end, helps lower everybody's taxes. That's what we're to do. That's probably been the biggest single project since I've been on board that we've done. So has this stimulated any questions? I, I got all I needed. Huh? I don't know about him, though. I'm good. Probably <laughs> <laughs> more information about it. Do you guys care about where the money comes from, or how many departments and what kind they have? Or? Yeah, we'll go with that one. <laughs> What was the question? What did you say? <laughs> Speak up. Where does Where's the money it? come from? Oh, nice. The money comes from the taxpayers of the, of the, of the county of Stafford. Uh, we do get some revenue from a little bit from the state and a little bit from the federal government. But the majority of, the, of our revenue comes from the taxpayers, the landowners and property owners of, uh, of, the, of the citizens of Stafford County. Primarily yeah. property taxes, and we have some sales tax revenue. And, Oil and gas tax. And uh, also tags and, and uh, mouse. I said oil and gas is one. This is a major one. Oil and gas, which is part of property tax. Yeah, it's part of property tax. Okay. The gentleman talked about, of course, the, the EMS and health. But what other departments does the county have? Well, we have noxious weed. Uh, solid well, waste. Solid waste, the yeah. landfill, plus the recycle uh, part of it. Um, and the students have been to the Register of Deeds. So the Register of the Deeds, the county treasurer and the county clerk, as well as the county commissioners and the sheriff are elected officials. So each elected official, other than us three, are responsible for their own their own departments and oversee their employees and do their own budgeting and stuff. So and the same same thing is with the townships. Each township, you know, has a trustee and a chairman and clerk, treasurer. Treasurer, yeah. clerk, trustee. Yeah. But, and they are their own entity. We, as commissioners, have no say over what the township does because they're their own, their own entity. They are responsible for their own bridges and roads. And they levy their own taxes. And they levy their own taxes. So. Well, they're not as responsible for their own bridges. No, I, I mean... But, uh, yeah, their own roads. Right. Any structure with an open over 25 square feet is county maintained mm -hmm. by statute. I see. The culvert, if it's, if it's small enough, yes. And if an oil company wants to build a water line or the utilities, uh, the co-op, the utility co-ops want to put in lines along our easement, then they have to come. Submitted a request, and we have to approve it before we allow them to put in a salt water line or whatever. Cool. Okay. We are also responsible for the uh, people who are uh, arrested and incarcerated in Stafford County. We do not have a jail. So these individuals were transported to either uh, Great Bend, Pratt, or Greensburg, 
to be placed in a jail. The, the taxpayers of Stafford County pay for their room and board while they're in jail. So maybe this is why we see more probation rather than jail time because of the expense. Mm -hmm. I think you're doing a great, great job. <laughs> <laughs> so, Philip, what do you have? Um, through request for the engineering study that's been done on the stop signs at the townships that want one in North Seward and then the one down in Rose Valley. There's two locations in Rose Valley. The engineer for the engineer for the study done. Things that they need them? Uh, for us, we're going to fog seal the nail road and add a little bit of gravel at the end so, so it doesn't rattle too bad. We're going to fog seal out this week. Where were those things? Well, for stop signs. Rose Valley and West. For Rose Valley and um, South Street. No, I haven't watched off the road. So it's a blind corner, yeah. and then uh, north of his house, 
we did some work and put the pipe in for them and they built the intersection up and it's it's a blind corner there and so we're going to uh, and you have just to take care of it. Yeah, you will be out of it. So that one particular south is up and down the road. That's where this guy line is about your team just yeah. mm -hmm. I mean you gotta slow down before you pull out there, but yeah. somebody running along there might be clipping along pretty good. Right now you can that's if you were looking for Sister in law got a car, but she was riding in the desk. You can have those. We've got our communist lady. If you want them, you can have them. I'm not going to have those. I wouldn't think so. I don't think we've ever published that. The rest of the numbers she's got. They're all 15, 16, 17. I move that we accept resolution 15, 16, and 17. First stop signs and I second the answer. Okay. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Can I ask how much it costs? Would uh, be the cost of this engineering study? How does that work? Sometimes we have. It, it usually runs out at 200 bucks or something. <laughs> I guess it's something like that. Well, I have to go back. Some of them. Yeah. Some of them I have, we have, and then we don't get them all that often. Right. And it, it, to me, if they're willing to put up the stop signs, maybe it's worth us. I know Edward's County pays for this stuff. I suppose we ought to have a solar system. If they were going to pass the, you know, the cost along to them. Well, I think at this point we can handle the cost of him. Oh, yeah, it's just, that's. that's Get assistance? Do they buy the signs through you, or do they have to go yeah. out and find their own? Well, they can. I mean, they can go buy their own. I usually, we usually have them already made up because we keep some of that That helps. Them. And all they have to do is come and get them out of the real holes and put them in. In fact, we even put some of them up for them. So. No problem. <laughs> no, it's it's not. It's, I mean, we, we've delivered them, and sometimes when you deliver them, it's as easy just to go put them out of the hole. We've got an auger. But it, even right now, it's hard to get the auger to go down to some of that hard path. So, but yeah, I hate to do it with the hole. So it's also <laughs> weird. Okay. You don't have a copy of that, do you? Well, you have a copy of that. To the township? Which one? All three? Yeah. I will call and let them know that they were approved, but that way they have something for their file. Thank you. <laughs> you, usually, you, usually you might do remind anyway. me tomorrow and ask me if I did, because I'll probably forget. Okay. You, you have in the past all the time, I know that, so. Yeah. Is there anything else? I straighten up the 911 sign on the day <laughs> Well, thank you. <laughs> Get that off and the list. bolts, maybe. Where you clip the two together. Where you bolt it. At the two. ends? Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, you didn't get the little. That's actually a rivet. So it's well, it's plastic space right now. And I don't know if a mower or whatever hit it, but they had to have been going west on the wrong side of the road to get it to fold over. The, uh, the pose, the pipe. That's a new one. Yeah, it is. That's the second one. Boy, this one, somebody doesn't like your corn. I know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, they had that rivet on the end that's missing. Okay. We'll go for it one day. And I looked on the ground and didn't find it. So. Well, probably wouldn't find it. And the whole uh, the post is not wobbled. So I don't have it. Why don't you put about six, six steel posts there next time I'm going to hit it and see what... <laughs> well, then we'll find out who's doing it, eh? <laughs> I thought we was really getting when we put them on the state side, and that way we didn't have that, you know, other post to maintain, and they are easier to see. Yeah. So It just looks bad going down the road, and here's this one that's a 90 degree. <laughs> it's going around looking really here to see. You just tell everybody you live south.
south, south of the crooked nine one months. The dense sign. The dense sign. The, uh, the, high, the signs coming up to the highways like 31 K19. Are they the highway signs or are they ours? No, those are K dots. Anything coming up? Anything coming up to K to, to state road is theirs. Anything coming up to one of our roads is ours. It's all the stop signs along the path, along our court, one of our corridors. It's all right. I mean, yes. The guys saw the so we, and where you have townships that you know that borders, and this township maintains a road, but it's actually a different township, say to the south or to the north. How does that work? Is it the township maintaining the road it's responsibility, or is it the one that's actually in? Does that make sense? What I'm saying? You, you're talking about whether it's either on the north side or the south side of a road right. that's right. on the line. Well, usually the townships have an agreement of what you know somebody's going to take care of this three miles. This exactly. This three miles. So, 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 and so I would think it would if, if you're taking care of this three miles, it wouldn't matter which side of the road okay. the signs. Are. That makes to me. sense to me, but I did. But I, I don't think it's necessarily done that way. That's well, your, uh, that's your I, township. This is my township. I, I would think. I mean, that's just common sense to me. But okay, common sense. Doesn't you don't know the right. Well, it doesn't. Well, uh, do we? Uh, is there a policy or is there a law that says who does what? Not that you're aware. Of? No. Okay. In fact, there was going to be another study done on one of these. And the engineer was going to recommend they didn't do it, and they didn't. They didn't want to do that. that way, so. Okay. Okay. They already have a sign put up. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, and who's... You guys are already doing it. Yeah, roll down. They roll it down. I mean, it had to be on a pickup that maybe you had a top or something. You got a top. I got a real heavy top or something. Great job, man. Oh, okay. Um, and then the, second, the next thing on the list there is uh, 
we, we have the tanker done. And I'll let, uh, I'll let Tinker kind of tell about the difference between this one, the fastest around. This is a picture of the tanker before. And uh, Tinker can kind of give you an overview on, on uh, what the changes have done. Basically what we did, uh, we took a, that truck there is a 1980s model truck. And in the condition that it was in, this yeah. is the original. That's the original truck. I don't have a picture of the new truck. It's actually sitting outside. If you guys have a chance, oh, that's to that's out there. No, we have no. Both. Okay, the new, yeah. the refurbished is sitting out front right now. Mm -hmm. Tom brought it over. Um, but the major, city of it is. the major changes that we made with it was the fact that we put a, a bigger tank on it, and the new tank actually has a 10-inch <coughs> square dump valve on the back, so that we can dump the water in probably, what, two to three minutes, you said? Yeah. Compared to where we, with that setup right there, we had to pump it off. That's the only thing you could do. And that could take 10 to 15 minutes to pump it off. Well, you're going to have to dump it into the pit or water. We actually have a collapsible uh, vinyl tank that we got in with the refurb, and it'll hold um, all 3,000 gallons of that water. And basically, we'll just set that up at a fire, and then you can refill trucks out of that tank while that truck is heading back to get another load of water. So, um, but the main the main thing was is I mean we took an old took a truck like that and um, that's there's really it's got a lot of use in it. Yeah, I mean it's an 80 it is 20 years old, but it doesn't have that many miles on it. It runs good. We haven't had any mechanical problems with it to speak of. Um, but uh, we fixed it. We fixed it up for fifteen thousand dollars compared to what we could look at a new purchase for probably close to minimum probably a hundred thousand. So, um, so hopefully we get several more years of use out of it, and it'll definitely be an asset to us in its current condition. So uh, we have a uh, auxiliary pump on it now that was one that we had in storage. Come across and uh, got it fixed up and running, and it's, it's ready to go. We're, we're very pleased with the way it turned out. So, yeah. Along those lines, we have uh, we have a need to replace the tires on the on the rear end, which is eight eight tires on the rear end. And we found uh, we found some rims, and we went ahead and purchased them. That was under under the five hundred dollar limit, but uh, we will need. Uh, and the reason we bought rims is these are split rims, and you really want to try to get away from that. So we found rims, uh, and we found uh, recaps. Brand new tires cost $1,000 a piece for that truck. So we found recaps uh, at $211 a piece. Uh, so I would, uh, and we actually had a blowout when Tom was bringing that. Tom was driving that truck, I believe. Mm -hmm. Uh, TJ and Tom went and got that truck because we had a blowout of one of the rear tires on the way back. It didn't, didn't cause us any major problems, but uh, there just didn't need a replacement. So I would ask... Well, the, the, re, that's, yeah, the re recaps, are they, are they worn into? I mean, like a car, are they type of warning? Or what about sidewalls or stuff? Sometimes you get that, a recap. I honestly don't know. I know um, most semis now are... That's what they're I don't know, they, they put caps on stuff like that. But yeah. I don't. I think they probably. My assumption is they probably inspect, inspect those them. and make sure, make sure it's not like that. Um, it but says the tires are. They are. Twenty twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, like that. something like. There's some odd tire that the guys at the co-op said they're getting pretty hard to find, and if you do find one, it's going to be expensive. So. Uh, considerable, rims, considerable difference in cost, two hundred eleven dollars versus a thousand. Yeah. The rims we got were used rims we got from Southwest Truck. They took them off, cleaned them up, painted them, and so. Uh, so the total on uh, eight tires would be uh, sixteen hundred and eighty-eight dollars. You know, but I'll need to put the last thing you need on trucks and have it up to date when shape it. Front tires are okay. Yeah, the front tires are in really good shape. Um, they are split rims, but like I said, the tread on them is in really good shape, and I, I don't really see a need to replace them. I've talked to um, the guys at the co-op, and 
and talked to Marshall, and he's looked at them and he said he, he thought that we'd be okay with them for a while. Because I know that either by DOT standards, if we replace the front tires, they will have to be new tires. Because that's what DOT requires. Caps on the front. No. So, so I said, I, I think they look good right now, so I, I think we're comfortable with those. So did you get rims for the fronts in case you need to, or no? They're available. Yeah, we can get some more rims. Okay, $1,688 for eight recap tires at $211 a piece. And that includes rims? Or oh, that's just toys. Yeah. Includes mounting? I've got that covered. Well, you going to do this? No, Marshall said he'd take care of us. We need a motion for that. All right, I move we go ahead and purchase these three cap tires for the tanker truck. Oh, sorry. Okay, it's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. One thing I wanted to point out is that uh, you know, the, the firefighters have done a lot of the work. They they dismantled the, this truck before it was taken up over to Brookville, and that was all in their own time. Uh, so they've, they've actually done a lot. And even uh, TJ and uh, and Nick working on the escape, uh, we had the uh, the lights and um, they actually did work on that, which saved the county uh, a little over five hundred dollars. So, would it be possible to take just a few minutes to, to walk out yeah. to the side of the building here and take a look at that? And Glenn, what do you have? The only thing I need to visit with you about was uh, setting up a date for an open house. Over there. Okay. Won't you go ahead and do that? Okay. Um, I'll see if you've got grass. Do what? You got grass. Well, that's good. Though. Yeah, it's kind of like just over the weekend. It really popped. <laughs> it didn't really come over. Um, what we would like to do is that our board talked about this at our last meeting. We've got our commissioner district elections coming up where we elect our 24 PDC members. And um, we our next board meeting is the 26th of October. And that's when all the nominations and everything are due back. So we'd like to do it sometime after October 26th. We do, the first week in November, we do have our 4-H Achievement Banquet that will be held over there at the community room on the 4th. And we haven't sent out the invitation yet. You guys will be getting invited to that. But just so if you want to put it on your calendar on November 4th, Achievement Banquet is at 6.30 at the community room. We're, we could probably make it work that week if we needed to. It's normally pretty busy getting everything ready for Achievement Banquet. So if we could wait sometime like the 7th through the 11th, one of those dates, would those work for you? You think during the day? Yeah, we thought during the day. Yeah. We thought we'd probably have a better response during the day, or even if it yeah. even ran in to like early evening, like till 6.30 if you had needed to. I mean, if well, you What are we thinking here? An open, just an open house come and go as you go? some kind of an event? Well, what we... They can give up and speak? Yeah, we just do a walkthrough. Probably just give them kind of like... I really think the speech is in order. No, we're not going to do speeches. Well, we... I, as far as well, the Chima Bank was at 6.30 on the 4th. On the 4th? Yeah, November 4th. Okay, and then the week of the 7th through the 11th, or the 7th or the 11th? 7th through the 11th. 7th through the 11th. Either any of that time... I would be okay, but um, what we, the board will probably do is provide cookies and um, some time of drink um, for that, so people coming through can have a snack and, like I say, look around our office and then hopefully elect <laughs> and vote for our board at that time, not the board, but our PCs, Program Development Committees. Well, the 11th is Veterans Day. Okay, so everything closed. So that brings it down, and uh, probably the seventh is out, unless you want to do it in, like in the afternoon, say from one to. Can they just have one to something like that? Yeah, I mean we can do whatever. Yeah. Or well, actually. You're in November. One to four. Right? With You're in the November. Right? People working. <coughs> you do one to six. One or to six. Or yeah. Two to six. People can come after work or something. Yeah. I think, I think you should, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, 
ideally, because there might be a lot of people that are working would like to come over. Unless you had it open for noon hour, but then that wouldn't really benefit Maxville or Stafford right, or Radio. That's, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't benefit yeah. Maxville, Stafford, so. or Radio. So. Sure. Um, sure. One to six on the seventh of November. Or with you? Yep. I mean, whatever you work for you guys or things, we can make work anything that week. Okay. And one to six, mm -hmm. okay. And like I say, we will have uh, cookies or and something. Just can't be what red, uh, Kool Aid. Kool Aid or he, he he has the rules. He knows. <laughs> That's why I said a drink. <laughs> he has. Or if we have but a, red or if we have an or if we side. have, we can have a punch on our side. Just not let them. How come they can have it and we can't? I've explained that. To you. I don't remember. Because of the cleanup factor would be huge. Kool Aid's red, all over that. Red Kool Aid is terrible. It's on nasty. The don't you remember your kids? Did you ever allow them to have red Kool Aid? I got stains all over. See? There and you that, go. And I've already replaced the guard for once. It's still good. I don't have to say any more of that. So, okay. and at the Achievement Banquet, we will not have Kool Aid. And that's in the big room? Yeah. Did you write that down? Did we write that down? Yep. Yeah. Well, we talked about it. I don't know if we wrote it down. We did talk about it. Yeah, plastic sheeting to go over the carpet. <laughs> All right. I'm changing those rules. <laughs> How are you about that? Okay. Oh, okay. Are you, are you, the next motion will be if you want to buy a steam cleaner. Is that unavailable? Is that great? I'll have to look. Yeah, next motion will be to buy a steam cleaner. <laughs> and a cleaner. Hire somebody to do it. Yeah, I mean, that's the problem. And it is a mess. I know a lot of the churches have even banned Kool-Aid. See? If the and churches can ban it, we can, we can ban it. The church bans a lot of things I like to do. Well, I understand that. There's a reason for that. You just have to give up on Kool-Aid, Roger. Okay. He yeah. doesn't even like Kool-Aid anyway. I don't, sure. I don't. See? I like punch, so... Um, if you want us to contribute to any of that, you need to let me know. Okay. I really, I mean, other than... I it mean, might be we need to probably talk with Steve since he's here and I visit with Carolyn. I mean, so they know that people will be coming through. Okay. We want to have some type of little, along with it. Let's have something along with it at the same time. Your departments or something. There you go. Blood pressure checks. And something. Like I say, just so they know that they're coming through. You know, people could be <laughs> yeah. coming down the hall. You could, you well, could incorporate some of the plan. But yeah. Yeah, I was thinking maybe. No, you could. I mean, you yeah. could have yeah. ambulance yeah. or fire yeah. trucks yeah. or something yeah. out there. Put on a DVD up on the screen. One thing we're going to do, we found a bunch of old slides from like 30s forward. Oh, cool. And so we're going to try and put some slides together and go through them. Yeah, right. And then at the end, if people would like to take some, because I don't know what we're going to do with all of them, but probably just if people would like to have some of them, do that. We looked at uh, trying to have some of them scanned into photos or into a CD. And we visited with Natalie Clark. Um, she got a student that does it. But it ended up being like a quarter a slide to do, mm -hmm. and it's just the expense gets pretty out of hand. Or could you out of hand? Because I mean, they're, if you come in our office and go in the back room, they're just the whole ta two or three tables full of slides. From Mr. Rollins, does it? Yeah, if you guys like come through them, you're welcome to it. Absolutely. Won't cost a quarter. We've got, we've got, a, yeah, we've got, a, sli we've got a slide projector back there. You can stand on it. Yeah, we've got a slide projector. Yep, got a slide projector. So, but like I said, if that's fine with you, we'll just plan on uh, November 7th, 1 to 6. I think maybe we can talk to the other two, but let's see if somebody else can take one. Like I said, they just need to, yeah. yeah. or they do anything for it or not, they just need to be aware that people keep right. coming through so that they're not surprised. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you, guys. All right. Um, let's recess. <laughs> meeting, LAPC meeting, uh, those are required every quarter by the state. Also part of that, uh, you do the NIMS, which is the incident management system and he needs report. He needs that. that is, that's oh. done annually. You're not doing training? Uh, no, well, we, most of that I is trained online. last year. I can, I can get the uh, online stuff. Yeah, JG tried to electrocute me with the <coughs> No, 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 this is no, the, uh, the NIMS.
three good week weekends at work at home on your computer. <laughs> I can give you. I can get you the uh, the online address for that, and then uh, a review, an annual review of the emergency operations plan is is required by the state. But we'll have a meeting on, at nine o'clock at the MS station on the 11th on October the 11th. Uh, I met with the uh, with the sheriff. Actually, we met on the tactical dispatch, which is uh, some training that a couple of our dispatchers went to. And what we plan on using that uh, is we plan on using it during storms. They they would come out there, and also if we had a bigger incident, and we'll probably use them even on like a modern incident, just so we have more usage, uh, more practice for them. But we would bring somebody out to the scene, and they would uh, one of the dispatchers, and they would get in. Uh, with me, and then they would just keep track of resources yeah. that we had on scene. Uh, part of that, also part of that, we visit a visit with the sheriff about the radios, and uh, he's attending a conference at, at the first part of November. And we'll have a meeting shortly after that, just to make sure we understand exactly what they are facing. Our challenge is looking at working on theirs right now, getting theirs in place. So they got the time was Janu next year, the January of next year. Yeah, next year. Not allowed. To, to get a secondary um, credit card. A lot of the purchases that, that we make anymore are online uh, with a thousand dollar limit with both EMS and fire. Um, items are so expensive that I end up capping it out pretty fast. Uh, so, I, you know, then put some of the things on my own personal credit card just so I can kind of keep going. Otherwise, you know, we have to, have to wait. I don't know if that's something you want to do. Well, or place purchase, what are you talking about? A lot of it's been on the building out there, here of late, you know. Um, but it doesn't take very long to uh, to buy emergency service items. Even when I get authorization from you guys, it still it still uh, tallies up towards a thousand dollars, and then I'm capped out until until we until the cycle runs through again. So it kind of slows things down. I don't know if it would be possible to get a card that would go to each. Um, one for EMS, one for fire. So at least we'd have a little broader range. I, I think purchasing uh, online, oftentimes you can get a better deal. I, you know, I'd like to be able to buy local, but, but oftentimes we're, we're not buying within the county anyhow. And when we're not doing that, we might as well get the best deal. And oftentimes we can a projector was a good example out there. Uh, anything within close proximity, of course, nothing here in the county that we could that we could buy that. But we could have bought it at a few places uh, in counties uh, bordering us. But uh, all those prices were upwards of twice as much as what we could buy it online. Are, are you having just saying you have, who's going to be in control of charge? Is just you actually have? That's, I mean, that's what it currently is, and so it would still be that, that way. Just one person you'd be in, and any, any yeah, we just have two parts instead of one, so we could, I don't know. The, I mean, the other, I could continue to do what I've been doing is put it on my own card if that's what you'd want me to do. I mean, um, but it's like, you know, like the big door that we bought out there, you know, put that one off, and we're still waiting on a couple other items. You know, I, like I, I bought a, a bed, uh, but then I got a call back because I'd already maxed out. So we had to put that one on hold. Uh, haven't bought chairs yet because that would put us over the limit too. So it's, it's difficult to run a project, especially uh, on that type of limit. But, you know, it's um, not everybody will charge this. It's a problem. Especially if you're going on this. <coughs> Go long distance with something they're not going to charge to you. So you're going to have to put it on the credit card. Right? Yeah. That's something you want to think about. That's yeah. uh, uh, huh? You've been with this project, which money you already had. I mean, it was not, it's money that uh, was through that donation, right? Right. So you're still using money off of that. For, 
Right. But we cycle it through the credit card. Right. I mean, we make purchases through the credit card. Uh, our question are you about through with that project? Are you going to need them as much? Well, we are. I, I still see, you know, the, the problem is everything's that kind of expensive that, you know, it's not unusual to, uh, to make a, a couple $300 purchases and then you're just about maxed out within $100. So you're either wanting a higher limit on your credit card or a second credit card. Or a second credit card, just to reflect that it's, that it's two, two disciplines that we're, that we're operating with, both fire and EMS, and both, uh, you know, we have medical supplies that we, that we cycle through that card. Uh, For the ambulance to be in so. Right, and so if you, if you run them through and then you run some fire things through, boom, you're, you're maxed out, and there you set uh, either you put them on your personal card or you, or you wait. And they they don't trust the county agency if they uh, don't you know, charge to There's just not that many that charge. Long distance ones like that, you know, major people like that. Well, they want their money right away because right. their, their price is better, so they want their money right in hand before they're doing that. Right. Right. They don't want to wait. I think they're, they're used to Seeing that sometimes governmental operations are going to take it. Go through their capital before you ever get the product in. Right. I don't really have a problem with it. So <laughs> if any major purchase has got to come in through us, and we still have the same right. rules. So it's not like, uh, other than somebody else saying, well, he got it, I want it. <laughs> Which is always a problem. Or, I mean, an issue. You don't put your personal items on No. No, I'm actually putting yours on my personal. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that bothers, the thing that bothers me about uh, credit cards is, is the billing cycles. That if they don't coincide with our billing, you know, our voucher system, then there's always a late fee. Really? Because they know the late fees. I can, I can pull the bills off the internet before we even get them mailed out. And then I get them to the department heads so we have the voucher to time. Okay, so we get the head of the so we 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 money. We can have the late fees. Late fees. Right, right. Yeah, you've got to be careful of that. Yeah. Is there a reason? I mean, is, is, it, is it helpful to have two separate cards? Is there any reason for that? I would prefer this to have the one. Mm -hmm. From the standpoint of we've got so many credit cards out there now, we don't know what that is. That's why I was asking, he'd be in control of the charge and the purchase. Mm -hmm. the but market, it, it the makes sense. Is, I just, so if you're going to do it, just up his limit. Yeah. That's the question I wanted to answer. That he prepares a lot. And everybody yeah. wanting the limit. Right? Instead of, and, and instead of, if we did that, instead of doubling it, just, you know, just, I'd say, just go in between, you know, $1,500, right? I mean, there's no reason to have it. Well beyond what I need. I mean, that would. What, what I've seen, other than the project. I mean, the project. I may have needed more, you know. But the project is is nearing completion. Just other, just a few uh, items left, and I think fifteen hundred dollars would probably. You know, the problem is, I mean, I can get authorization for like a seven hundred dollar item, and then I go buy it, and then, you know, I I, I run out of funds to, to purchase mm -hmm. medical supplies. I got to stop short of. Within the, within the month. Within the month. Yeah. I can see where it could be involved. So you're, you're wanting about $1,500 a month? Yeah. Just, just the card you've got, just up the limits on that? Yeah. I, I think I'd go through that. Well, this would, this, would, <clears throat> this would be a temporary. Once the project's done, we I, still need. I, I, I think you still need them. Well, no, I no, realize no. that when you have to buy supplies for EMS, nothing's cheap. No. Not even band-aids. But even, you know, <coughs> even fire stuff, you know, if, if I have, you know, if, if I need to buy a... Uh, something breaks down. A coat or a daggone to replace a, a fire coat or something, I mean, and, and a pair of pants, I mean, mine might be $650, I'll get authorization, but it, it really squeezes trying to, trying to fit the other purchases of the month in if you get an item like that comes through. Do we have... The other departments use their credit cards online. Not as much as he does. Occasionally. Depends on what time of year it is. But he's got medical supplies. He's, he's got more need on top yeah. for his, I think. If Philip has, Phil's will order more and more stuff over the internet, too, his parts and 
I, and I honestly, I, I think you probably need to keep, you know, even, uh, there may be some others that you need to. Uh, and the reason I say that is because what, what you do is you, you give us, we, we don't have many options. If, if, we, if we max it out, we either have to wait or we have to buy them some, somewhere where they charge. And so what we might do is, is, is we just follow the rules and we may buy something that's two or maybe 30% more expensive, but that's the way we have to do it because we can't fit it into the credit card. Well, you second the motion, I'll second the motion. I understand that in second, and we increase the credit card limit. Just on his Just on his. Just on uh, emergency preparedness or well, emergency EMS, service. emergency yeah. services. Yeah. $1,500. And then second, I'll say aye. That yeah, what you said, 15 mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, aye. Okay. okay. Those are all clear. They're made and it's carried. If I could have a five minute executive session to visit about non elected personnel, that, that's all I need is five minutes. I have some I'll show you. Okay, it's been moved and second, then we go in executive session to discuss non elected personnel for five minutes only. <laughs> all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, have a good weekend. I don't have corn. That's good, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, it didn't take longer. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. I want to know uh, whatever you guys have a moment, if I could walk down with you guys to that extension office and explain to you what my idea is. How many people got out there yet? Yeah. Here's it. Don't go, buddy. Terrible sense of humor, Mr. Boyd. We can do that right now. That's what I thought. Uh, Ron will recess. <laughs> Room. What are we going to do with your office? Book. <laughs> That's a book. You need to get that out of the closet. The other office next to you is going to do what? Stay like it is? Yeah. And then we're going to expand to the... I guess that's the south. Yeah. And that, that will be the dispatch. Right. The whole area will be dispatched. Right. The only other thing I'd like to see done, and uh, talk to Steve Moody a little bit, um, we have, well, in 2013 we're going to have to change radio to narrow band, which most of ours can already, but there's some things we're going to have to purchase as far as dispatch, and he said he would be glad to help on that because I mean, we dispatch for everybody. But uh, there's been twice that I can remember that uh, the water leaked into our office and just got our carpet sopping wet. And that carpet's been in there so the 80s. There. Yeah. We need a new carpet. If we're going to move all that stuff, we may as well. I just I, I get there for, for the water. Because I'm sure there's more water to come in at, you know. Mm -hmm. Where it come in at, around the air conditioner? Well, well it come in out of the treasure office the last time. There's pipe pipes that come down right in the dispatch. Oh, that's right. Came from the ceiling? Or yeah. From the roof? Yeah. But I think we're supposed to have that fixed. Now. Well, I think it is fixed, but I'm just saying. Yeah. It. Well, we have a range about the old old these days. I mean, how are we going to know? Yeah. No, <laughs> I think mean, in two years. Yeah, I think that was a plumbing problem on the second floor. I'm sure it's fixed. I'm just saying that. Yeah. Right. yeah. So. But you're saying the new floor sometimes in there, then? No, when you tear the wall out, that's the time. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Yeah, that'll have it all. And, I mean, I'm, I'll talk to Philip, but I'm, I, I am assuming that the best thing to do is get the extension office done first before we start tearing other walls out. Because, I mean, we've got to have yeah, somewhere right. to go before we do that. So, so I, I'll talk to Philip and okay. see. And you were discuss this with the highway patrolman. Yes. And he's okay with it. Yep. And the, the uh, 
evidence room and that part of what you're using down there, no, that just stays like it is. Right. Where the old cells are at? Yeah. Uh, that's just what we'll use it for. And that's, yeah. That doesn't need to change. What? You've got other storage in there. Yeah. 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 Well, I think it's definitely worth exploring. I agree. Recycle. We can afford it. Recycle the doors and stuff. Um, so actually, all we're out is two by fours and sheetrock and flooring. And uh, well, there'd be some electrical issues, but I did notice the yeah. electrical outlets and every. You know, that well, actually is going to work pretty well. You got a register right. in each one. You right. got electricity. Right. You probably won't be happy with it. It's like my house. There's never an outlet where you need it. <laughs> But I think I looked at that wall back there, he gives head of the one back in that part of the back there. If he redoes that, he can go ahead and furs out the sheet rocks that, then he can go ahead and he can put some outlets in there back in that right. 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 same time. And it would be a whole lot more hard. Right. Same thing as now. So, yeah, he's yeah. Make, make a plan with the I think it can work pretty well. Switches and everything else. Yeah. Clean all the electric up. There's a couple of desks back there. Do we, have, do we have any of those doors safe from the annex? What happened to all of them? There's a bunch out there. Fire There's a bunch of them out there on their project. I bet Steve's got a few ordered some. No. You might check in. <laughs> he doesn't. I don't know if there's any. Okay. I have never noticed them in there. I always wondered what there's happened. There's plenty of sea of sea sand tile. Which for yeah. steel? Steel. Yeah, there's no problem. Because yeah, I know some of those we can. Did we get rid of all the sheetrock? Yeah, Moody took that. Yeah. Is that all gone? Use that as part of the session. Because yeah. that was a uh, three quarter inch. Couldn't, and they couldn't use it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so, but in the immediate future, we need to have someone come in and fill in the holes in the wall where the payphone was at. And where the extension office is, bulletin board is at. And you want that Decent. other bulletin board taken off? Right. They, they, they can go ahead and, oh, so. uh, and yeah, make it look better for now. And we get the other project, go ahead and work out something. Do you want me to contact Mike? Contact yeah, see if he'll do it. Do the patchwork and the painting. It's not that big of a deal, but it's pretty unsightly. Looks like we had about 10 pay phones up there, and each one had a That's different terrible. hole. I walked by my whole life and never knew there was a phone there. I honestly never knew there was a phone there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you saw all the time. Well, you saw all the time. We were all the time. Like, I mean, your cell phone. We just want to do this. We pay for it. Nobody used it. He, he was supposed to come up today. He was. We had it on the agenda. We'll be coming in to visit. Oh, I see. They turned off. Oh, all right. Okay. Then we're done. No, we're not. Oh. Okay. What's we'll on to you? got anything else? I'll talk to Phil. Okay. I'll come back Monday. Let's know what's going on. All right. Thank you. Um, Doris was in. She wanted to know if she could still get the free flu shots to the county employees if she has in the past. She wanted to. Okay. She's always had. Okay. With me, yeah. Uh, okay. Why does she ask? Every year she asks. From now, I see. Yeah. Okay. And then she, you need to fill out some information on this deal for you guys already did. Remember this. Whatever it is. No, I'm not No, for oh, some application. For Kansas Medical Assistance Program. You guys already put your stuff in there, but Janie wouldn't hear that name. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and we will not meet you next Monday. Really? Columbus Day. We'll okay. close. So Tuesday? Tuesday. Or you want to skip? Uh better not skip. We okay. Be Tuesday? Here. Yeah. Okay. Um, I told you I found the chairs that went downstairs. We'll get them brought over. We'll get that desk out of there, and that room will be good to go. Where Steve used to be? Conference room, yeah. The little meeting room, room across from yeah, the Yeah, there's a room. desk in there. I just left in there. Is it gone? Was. It was in there last week. I swear, I just left in there. It might be gone. It was still in there last week. Steve's desk was still in there. 
Mm-hmm. I don't think it is, but okay. uh, don't, well, they <laughs> don't take it my out. word for it. When that I was, was in there, when I found the chairs, I got so excited it was it was so still in there. So did we find the tables? I was just going to say no, about the tables. tables. Still ate one. But I got, but I, I, got, I had table tables. Like in there. Yeah, there was, there was, there was, we there like three of them together. There were three or four tables that had this on top of them that folded. You know, the legs folded. Yeah, we always had it for the zoning meeting. Zoning meeting and other meetings usually. But I've got great tables down there. I ordered extra when I ordered okay. annex. So I've got four tables down there. Did we ever get anybody to tell us the capacity of the annex? That's something that really we need to find out. And then we need to work towards getting enough tables or chairs to utilize it. We have 100. We're supposed to have 100 chairs over there. That's what we bought. Our insurance carry got it. I mean, it's square footage. I thought this. And if we get we have an open house or two, then we go ahead and formally put something in the paper. But we haven't have yet is what the rules and the, and how people can have utilize it. Or at the end, next, have anything or yet about that? I thought we kind of published the rules. Well, Maybe that was just I, a letter I read. I think I put it in the mail. I think it'd be a good time we have this. Yeah. Same time we go ahead and have I, something. We can have some over there. But it would be nice to know then because, you know, we need to promote it a little bit and say, yeah, okay, you know, know like the Farm Bureau, Bureau, you can have your meeting here. If, if we can, I want to know. I don't think it's big enough for that. I just can't imagine it not being over 200 feet. And personally, I'm tired of that gym. Well, it's just made for that. You've got the stage, you've got the sounds of, you know, it's just. Such a nice setting. That's the way we got it. Uh, what about the extension office? Have they got their mess cleaned up? Do we need to go visit this? I have no It's the issues about the slides right now. Do you have a place to put them? Don't have a place. I don't know. They maybe they're looking for them individually. Hang on. That could take years. Yeah, good. I'm going to there anyway, so I'll find out. Well, remind me they have that whole... too, because I know he's been messing with those. It Doesn't, don't they have a, isn't that storage room theirs? Mm -hmm. The one on the west side? Well, there, you've got the, the file, the cabinets and the, and the, and all that filing, and then there's, and there's another storage room besides that, right? Back behind, I mean, yeah, the one with all the drawers and stuff, and then there's the one, yeah, that's, that's, that's they, theirs, they right? only have access to that, yes. So, can't that crap go in there? And they can look at it in there. I, do we need to make it clear that 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 meeting room and kitchen is for the public and not theirs exclusively? Do they under, not understand that? I'm, I mean, I'm asking a question. I I don't know. I don't think they're quite clear on that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to clarify that. And we've given them plenty of storage area. I just can't see any reason why that's over here. Well, yeah, but I, mean, I can't see any reason why that stuff's there at all. And you have they're just still unorganized. And okay, but just put it in there. And uh, well, I know, but I don't. Okay, we'll okay. resolve that issue. Okay, I'm done. Here. I think uh, you don't want to talk about that. The bids? No, we need to go to when you need wait for Troy. Troy, I thought, I thought Troy was, but apparently not. I don't think this morning, I've got to do all this. Huh? Yeah. See, that's not the current one. Well, I got it out of the envelope.
so it's a good start on the database. Still need that economic development board member. The at large. Oh, we talked about that last I time. didn't. I didn't. I forgot about it. Yeah. You still want to pursue him? You want to look at somebody else? So I, I think we need probably the most sure that I could ask. I got a couple of things I could ask. Well, I just feel like it ought to come from this area personally. <laughs> I will I'll ask this week. You know, between one between the two of you. It should come from this area. But I can find somebody up there if you want. Okay. Did uh, did your mother talk to you know, Richard? I, that's my fault. I okay. talked to her about it but I didn't have the name. She just it's I know, I've got it. I just okay. she distracted me with a lot of other stuff. She's okay. real good at that. All right. If there's nothing else, we will adjourn.